welcome back to Team Interviews today. We are having a special episode where we have a student coach, Ariel Taskinen, here with me. Thank you. So, tell us about yourself. Yeah, so I'm Ariel Taskinen. I'm a second year ICT student here. And I got the chance to be the student coach uh, this year for Vimmalab. How did you become a student coach? Um, I was in Vimmalab last year um, as a team member in Penguin Media. And then I realized how fun uh, Vimmalab was. And I decided to continue on with this. Uh, this Basically, I just asked Narsu and <laughs> <laughs> he said, they had no one else, so I became the student coach. <laughs> okay. How did you find out from Vimala? Oh, that's interesting. Um, Who told you about this? Yeah, I think I think it was like my my teacher, maybe. Oh, I saw it on Teams, but it was some message that um, I failed to get any student uh, uh, summer jobs. So okay, I decided okay. to apply for to Vimmalab and then managed to go in. Um, it is quite rare. It was quite rare to uh, get in as a first year student. So I was very uh, happy to. So it was rare for a first year student to get in. Yes, uh, there was just two of us, I think, last year. So there was me and another one in Mysticons. Uh, yeah. Um, but he also had like many years of experience, but I did, I brought like a different perspective, uh, from an ICT field because I was, uh, doing, uh, live music and live events and that kind of problem solving. So I think that was the main point and my enthusiasm for <laughs> him up. Uh, what did you do in Penguin Media? Uh, uh, mostly I was in charge of the social media, so I was the social media manager, if that's the right. Well, but then, it is. yeah, yeah, but then, um, because I didn't have the technical knowledge of the second and third and fourth year students that we had in our team, um, I was basically the, I did everything that they didn't like, uh, have, have the time for. So I was kind of doing a bit of this and a bit of that and learning how to do websites and doing a bit of this and doing a bit of logos and doing a bit of editing. So it was very, um, there was a, a lot of roles that I had. Um, but the main point that I had like in the last part or the second part of Imlab was, uh, I did one part of the new websites. So the guide section is um, almost fully mine. I can't take full credit of it because our team leader uh, helped us with that. So pretty rich experience in five years. Yes, yeah. So it basically combined all of my experience or all my knowledge from the first year and then gave me some more so I could actually learn a lot. And I, I did learn a lot of new technologies sure. and... Um, more, I think I learned more like soft skills, like uh, being in a team and working in a team and uh, time management and stuff like that. Uh, what does your team have? Oh, um, we had, I think it's quite similar to this year's, like they're doing new branding. So that, that was our deal. Like we, branding. Okay. yeah, branding was the whole thing because that was, it was very scattered the branding <laughs> and it didn't have any like guidelines or it did, but they were like outdated to somewhere. Yeah. So that was basically our goal to redo the branding. Um, most of it was to do the fonts and do the color scene and do the, the new uh, site and everything like that. But then I think in the last two, three weeks, some of us uh, did new logos for every team because that was quite outdated too. But that wasn't my job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was doing the guides because that was a lot <laughs> to learn. Uh, what is Vimala for you? I think um, it's one of the best courses that Young has to offer. Um, it, well, it gives you something to do for the summer. And it is a great place to, uh, as I said, to practice the soft skills and 
to actually kind of see how the project would come together in a real work environment. Uh, as a student coach, how much time do you invest in Vimba Lab in a week? Uh, well, it's a full-time job, so I'm, it's yeah, like 40 day. hours, yeah. Uh, what are the responsibilities of student coach? Um, I think I've uh, my I don't have that much control over the students or team leaders, but um, I'm organizing the company visits and like organizing the logistics behind that. Uh, I'm making sure that every team leader is um, well is doing their job, but they do they um, uh, we have meetings like every day, and we we're kind of I'm getting updated on how they're being, well, how their team is managing. Um, but mostly it's just like um, keeping the big picture together. Um, I, I, well, this week and last week, I also have talk, talked to, to almost everyone. And that's also my goal to get um, a conversation going between everyone to see if there's any issues and to actually um make sure that everyone can manage throughout the lab. I think that's most uh, very important too. So you have a heavy supporting role. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost in exclusively supporting everyone else. Like that's that's my job. So what do you think of Vimalab as a learning environment? That kind of was what I already asked you, but yeah, but I think I think uh, yeah. So I think um, um, I think what Yank is lacking, but it's it's going forwards in this direction. Like Future Factory is kind of in this direction. Is project learning, like actually working on a project, like that. That is very important in well every uh, every area, but uh, especially in ICT so they can actually start working on it. So it brings the school closer to work, which is ideal. So then Young doesn't, um, or Vimalab, after Vimalab, everyone should know how to work in project. So that's ideal. Yeah. So the code for Vimalab is ultra factory. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot. A lot of people that came straight from Future Factory to Vimalab, and it's kind of uh, it is very similar, I've heard, but it is um, it, it was still Future Factory is kind of part time at least for us it was, okay. and then it was a, a shorter time, and they weren't getting used to everything. But then when you can actually just focus on the project because everyone is here from Monday through Friday working so you can just focus on this and not worry about school or anything it gives uh, a better um, or an easier way to learn i think so that's it oh, thank, thank you, you. Eli Tosker, for joining us today thank you very much it was a pleasure to talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good.